Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and happy Easter. I'm so excited to film this video because I have always wanted to do a video like this. I am going to be doing my March favorites. Um, this is just products and things that I love and currently things that I'm obsessing over. I have always seen videos like this and I've always wanted to do one. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite products at this moment. But the first thing that I absolutely love, I use it like once a week, is the Organics Microdermabrasion Polish. Um, Botanics used to be at Target, but they don't sell it there anymore. So I got this at Ulta, and I believe I ordered three bottles online, maybe for like forty some dollars or something. But if you go to the store, they might have a single one at the store for like eleven or twelve or something. So um, what you do with microdermabrasion is you can use it once a week on your face, and after you wash your face, you get your face wet, and then you like scrub. It's like it's like a sandy texture and you like scrub it on your face and it gets rid of like dead skin cells it helps aging and wrinkles and my face feels so smooth after using it. My second face product I have is the Freeman's Clay Mask and Scrub and this is the Apple Cider Vinegar. So Freeman's you can get I know at Walmart it's like really cheap but you can never find this one at Walmart so I picked it up at Ulta and I believe I paid like three dollars or something for this and it smells so good. So apple cider vinegar usually smells really bad, I know. So don't let the name throw you off, but it's like dry to it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like apples. And how I use this, it's kind of hard to shut. How I use this is as a face mask. So I'll do this like once a week sometimes. And I'll just put it all over my face, let it sit for like 10 minutes until it dries. And then I'll wash it off and it has like tiny little beads in it that exfoliates your face as well, like the microdermabrasion. So yeah, it smells good, my skin is so soft, it feels amazing after using this. Um, and it's, it's cheap, it's like under $4, like $3 or something. So go pick that up at Ulta. My next obsession for March is the, I'm probably saying this wrong, I'm not going to say it right, O'Keefe's Working Hands Hand Cream. So you can find this at Walmart, um, I'm sure they have it at like grocery stores like Harris Teeter, Walgreens, I don't know, wherever they sell lotion at. So I've used quite a bit of it. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, this is like miracle stuff. So they have the hands one, they have a foot one, they have a body one, I want to get the body one, and they have um, lip stuff too. And oh my gosh, it, it says guaranteed relief for extremely dry cracked hands. I put this on my hands every night and I wake up and my hands are just so soft. Like, they, it just feels amazing. Like, I absolutely love this stuff. So I highly would recommend this if you have dry skin. This is my all-time favorite perfume. This is Chanel Chance, and it's the pink bottle. Oh my gosh. I ask for this stuff every year for Christmas. Not every year, because um, I had my old bottle lasted me like three years. But I just got this new bottle for Christmas, and it's bigger than the other one I had. So it'll probably last me for a while. And just the smell of Chanel, just something about Chanel, like a clean, like elegant smell. Oh, I just love this. And it's like really expensive, so I don't use it. I think it's like the biggest, I think this is the biggest bottle, so it's like 130. I don't use it every day just because I'm like, I gotta treasure it. So I'll use it like when I dress up, when I go places, like when I go on a date with my boyfriend or something. I absolutely love it. And my other spray that I'm using at the moment is Velvet Petals by Victoria's Secret. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Like I spray this on every night before I go to bed. I'll, sp I'll wear it to class sometimes and like people's always like, oh my gosh, you smell good. What is it? And I got this on sale at Victoria's Secret for $7. Okay, so my old time favorite foundation and I'm running out so I need more. I'm not wearing it right now. I'm wearing something else right now and it's not really that great coverage. I just tried out um, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It's like, it's okay, but this is my all time favorite foundation. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And my face gets like really oily, especially around my nose, my T zone through here. This is a demi matte finish. It's oil free and it's a medium coverage, but you can layer it for full coverage. This is my holy grail. Like, this is the foundation that I always keep coming back to. Um, this is actually a darker shade because I've bought it in the summer, but I didn't want to like just waste it, so I'm using it still, but it's like so dark. I don't know, I think this beats, like I've used high-end foundations as well, and I think this beats high-end foundations. 
It is absolutely amazing. I would love to do a tutorial with it sometime. My all time favorite mascara that I have been using for maybe like two years, three years now, is the Maybelline Flash Sensational Fan Effect. And this stuff, I'm wearing it now. Let me zoom in. Okay, y'all, this is my real eyelashes. And this is that mascara. It's only one coat. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I think I paid only like $7 for it. And it lasts for a long time. Like this is the best mascara ever. Another product or a face product that I love is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. I've had this tube for like two, no, longer than that. I've had this tube for like three or four years. My uh, best friend gave it to me for my birthday and I still use it every single time I apply makeup. I put this on and I still have the same tube. I don't know if it goes bad or not, but I'm still using it. And my eyeshadow stays all day long until I use a makeup wipe to take it off. It does not crease. It is the best thing ever. Like, I absolutely love this eyeshadow primer. And when I run out, I'll probably be buying the same one. Milani Rose Blush. And this is in Blossom Time Rose. I have it on right now, right there. And it is shaped like, it was shaped like a rose, but I've been using it. Um, I've been using this for a few months now, maybe like two or three, and I'm loving it so far. Like this is, it's really pretty. I love the packaging. I love how Milani always has the gold. Um, I use, I have used like Tarte, like high-end ones, which are really good, but I ran out of my Tarte one, and I was just trying to find a cheaper one at the time, and I picked up the Milani one, and I love it. So, yeah. It is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. It doesn't plump my lips though, but <laughs> it is in the shade blush and it is the prettiest pink. Like it is the perfect pink lip gloss for spring or summer. I'm wearing it right now. I love lip glosses. Like I'm not really big on the whole matte. I do have matte lipsticks. I don't like the look of matte. Like I feel like it just dries on my lips. Maybe I'm, I don't put it on right. I don't know. But I am obsessed with lip glosses. This is so pretty. It smells like coconuts, like you can never have too much gloss. But Milani, they make some amazing products. I love Milani and Maybelline. Um, but this is like one of the best lip gloss I have ever owned. And the color is just gorgeous. Okay, so two other products that I use on my face, and I'm gonna show them both because they're the same um, makeup line, or not makeup line, they're the same line is the ROC, the Retinal Correction Sensitive Eye Cream, and the ROC Deep, Re Deep Wrinkle Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. If you're like me, I don't know if you're like me or not, but I am obsessed with like my skin. Like I, I used to have really bad acne, um, and I've cleared my skin up a bit. I still get breakouts. I have some up here from like sweating and stuff, but I do not want wrinkles, and I, I'm getting, like, well, I have a little bit. Everyone, you laugh, you get wrinkles around your eyes, but I am trying to prevent my skin from wrinkling, and I'm just crazy over my skincare and wrinkles. Like, I wear sunglasses walking everywhere because I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can't get wrinkles on my eyes, and I don't know. I'm just, I'm just like that. I'm just really careful about my skin. I never go tanning. It's so bad for you. Don't ever go tanning. Um, I wear sunscreen all the time. I reapply it. I wear sunscreen in the mornings. It, like, you may go tanning now, like, oh, I want to be tan, but when you're 50, you're not going to care about being tan. And then you're going to have maybe skin cancer or, like, really bad wrinkles. So, you need to stop tanning. Half these girls are like, Pfft. But anyways, um, I use this moisturizer. So, after I wash my face in the morning, I put, like, dots on my face and I rub it in. And it moisturizes my skin. And it has a wrinkle cream in it, so it's helping with wrinkles. And it has SPF 30, so it's helping protect the sun, or protect my face from the sun. So I use that every single morning. I got it for $17. And the cheapest place to get it would be Amazon or Walmart. I think I got this one on Amazon. But I saw it at Walmart for $17 as well. So it's a little tube, $17, but you get what you pay for. And it smells amazing. It does have a little sunscreen smell. But all their products smell so good. Like, I love their products. And my face feels amazing every time I use theirs. So I need some more. But, like, what I'll do is I, I do this every single night. 
Once my, as I start getting dry or starts burning a little bit, so I'll do every other night. I just absolutely love it and I will always be using their products. And this is my new favorite moisturizer in the morning and I will always be using this moisturizer just to protect me against wrinkles and have sunscreen because you need to always have sunscreen on. So if you don't want to put it in an extra step, get a moisturizer with sunscreen. Okay guys, so that's it for my March favorites. I will be having more videos coming up soon. Please subscribe to me, um, the subscribe button, I think it's over here. Please hit that if you haven't and be checking in for more videos. You can click the little bell notification for when I post videos. And yeah, comment and like this video guys. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Bye, have a happy Easter.